So, coming back to the fourth aspect of uh, uh, happiness that is called Sukhayu Hitayu. Uh, you can read little more on this aspect of Ayu and Vay on the page uh, of this website dharmaviki.org. On this page, author explains the difference between Ayu and Vay. So, age is uh, English term but in Sanskrit and many other Indian languages, there are two terms which are commonly used, Ayu and Vaya. Ayu is biological age, Vaya is the corresponding age with the biological age. So, Vaya can be understood in three ways. So, we have a word called Vayu Vraddha means the one who is vraddha which is grown up who is grown up by vaya but there are two other kind of elders tapovraddha and gyanavraddha tapovraddha the one who has done sacrifice for the larger purpose and gyanavraddha who is uh, who is more knowledgeable so ayu the quality of ayu is connected with hitayu. Sukhayu meaning happy life, Sukh we all know is happiness. This is intertwined with hitayu, hitayu means that which is good for others. So, Sukhayu, hitayu are attained together. If, the, if we do not live hitayu, if our ayu is not used for the well-being and happiness of others, then it cannot be Sukhayu, it will be Dukhayu, life of misery. So, these are the two uh, uh, definitions of Sukhayu, Hitayu. Sukhayu is defined as Tratyayuruptam Swalakchanato Yatha Vidhaiva Purvadhyaya Cha. Now, there are characteristics of Sukhayu and we will look at these characteristics in the Anvay, in the Sandhi Vichet form, so that we can understand uh, this long sutra word by word. Similarly, Hitayu is defined as Hitai Shanaha Punar Bhutanam Paraswada Paratasya Satya Vadinaha Shama Parastya etc. etc. So, there are characteristics of the Hitayu. These both factors go together as per the yogic tradition. So, look at Sukhayu. Sukhayu has these characteristics like Sharir man, Manasabhyam Rogabhyam Anabhidra Tasya, those whose body and mind are disease free. Yavan Vata, so if they are disease free, how they will look like? Yavan Vata like youth, youth like, endowed with youth, samartha anugata and it has following thing, what are those? Bala, virya, yasha, parush, paraktamasya, strength, virility, reputation, manliness and courage. Jnana, vijnana, indriyartha, bala endowed with knowledge meaning jnana and vijnana that means art and science both indriya earth healthy senses artha uh, object of the sensory perceptions bal ability of the sensory organs param riddhi riches ruchir vivid upabhogasya various luxurious articles people can enjoy Samradha Sarvarambhasya, who can achieve what they start? Many of us are good at taking initiatives, not able to achieve, not able to fulfill that. So, that is also one very important factor of Sukhayu, what our ability to complete and finish what we wish to achieve. Yatheshta vicharinaha, 
those who can roam as they please, those who are autonomous, who are psychologically independent of moving around. So, these are the characteristics of Sukhayu. Now, look at the characteristics of Hitayu. Hitayishina punar bhutanam, those who are the well wishers of all being, par swadu par tasya, who do not desire wealth of others. And if you remember the first uh, mantra of Ishopanishad also talks about not desiring wealth of others. Satyavadina, who are truthful, shamaparasya, who are peace loving, who are self contained. Pariksha karina, those who are thoughtful before taking any action, they do the pariksha, they, they examine the suitability of their action. Apramatasya, who are not uh, lethargic and who are not laid back, those who are vigilant. Trivargam Parasparini, Trivargam, we just discussed about dharma, artha, kam. This is called Trivarg. Result of this, doing these things well, re naturally results into moksha. So, that is not uh, counted here, that is why it is called Tri, Tri, Trivarga. So, Trivarg, who experience the three important objectives of life, that is dharma, artha, kam, anupaham, Upaseva manasya, without one affecting with others, whatever you do, people will comment. Those who are seriously committed for some good cause, for them as well, some people may comment adversely. So, the people having ability to ignore those comments, without not being affected by those comments, that is the uh, characteristic of Hitayu, because if we get too sensitive and touchy about others comments, we will not be able to remain focused on our actual task. Those who respect superiors, those who have Gyan, Vigyan, Upashama Shilasya, who are endowed with knowledge and uh, humility, Vraddha Upasevina, who serve elder, who respect the elders, because elders have insights, elders can have experience, they can give something which in terms of knowledge and insights, which you may take years to acquire. Suniyat, who are in full control, Rag, Rosh, Irsha, Mad, Maan, Vegasya. So, these likes and dislikes, jealousy, uh, egoisticness, Egoism, egotism, these things generally come as vague, they come as our uh, uh, dispositions, very fast mental waves. Those who have the ability to control these waves, satatam vividha pradhan parasya, who constantly indulge in various type of charity, who has the uh, giving attitude. So, we uh, many of us must have heard this term go getter. The hitayu means not go getter, hitayu means go giver, who is cons who has the tendency to keep giving whatever in his or her capacity. So, that is the sign of hitayu. Tapah jnana prashamam nityasya, those who are regularly engaged in the sacrifice, regularly engaged in meditation, regularly engaged in sadhana, not those kind of people who go to gym. Uh, one week and then they stop going, those who start yogic practices and then they stop after three days, no, the hitayu will not get realized in their life. We need to have commitment and consistency. So, those who have this commitment and consistency for the right practices, adhyatma vid tat parasya, who have the full adhyatmic knowledge, who have the commitment to know their true self and realize harmony within. That is the sign of Hitayu. Lokam imam cha amu, amu chave chegana manasya, who work both for the present as well as for the future, who have the long term perspective and smriti matimata, who endowed with memory, who do not forget the right teachings, who do not 
let go their intelligence and clouded by their impulsive uh, tendencies. These are the sign of Sukhayu, Hitayu and what is the sign of Dukhayu and Ahitayu and only one term is given of what, what uh, uh, Charak says, Asukho Mato Viparya Reina, those who have opposite of it, they get Asukhayu or Dukhayu or here also gives the opposite definition in the two words ahitamato viparya rena ahitayu is the one which has opposite of all this and sukhayu is the one which has opposite of all this this is the definition of sukhayu and hitayu